the tunnels. <laughs> now, we'll start this off with um, how many I Love Israels do I have to do to just be clear about the fact that I just want to talk about the news. Nothing yeah. else. I'm just saying what's there, boys. All right. Is that, is that enough? About five, I'd say. Oh, God. <laughs> In the mirror all night. I, okay. I, do, I do love Israel. So my presence <laughs> here. I just I love the fact that, you know, uh, I'm like, there, look, look over there. A viable, a viable uh, nationalist homeland. Uh, yeah, <laughs> literally. I wonder, wonder if we could have that, you know, somewhere else. <laughs> Honestly, I actually totally agree with that critique as well. Like, can we not just have a border like they have a border? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're an island. It should be way easier for us to do that. I think, I think being an island, sorry to get off topic here, but I think being an island actually makes it tougher because you can't really put up a fence. Well, we don't right? need to. If you put, yeah, but they can, they, can get across the, they can get across the channel. They've worked out that stuff can float. So <laughs> now they now can get doing. across the channel. And... Yeah, but Britannia rules the waves. At least they should rule the waves in the English channel. All right, well, yeah. enough. On, we, can, we could at least rule a channel. Yeah, exactly. Come on, you know. Speaking of the channel tunnels, back to Brooklyn, because Brooklyn has its own tunnels, oh, it yeah. seems. And this is the story that I think everybody's seen a little bit of. But uh, I collected what I could to tell everyone about the story, uh, what's what's true, what's not true, what I don't know. And there's not a lot that we know, to be honest. Most of what we know is that, um, well, the videos have all been deleted by the original uploader because he says, yeah, I've decided to delete the entire thread about the Chabad tunnel. I will not allow my account to be used by anti-Semitic Jew haters to promote their pathetic hatred of religious Jews. I was like, uh, okay. I, mean, I love Dom Luca at the bottom. I'll keep mine up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hell of a response. But yeah, I don't think this makes any sense just on the face of it for a minute. I, I hate this idea that let's say you upload something to the internet that's true and factual and then someone uses it to like say their conspiracy theory is true. It doesn't matter. Yeah. What matters is the truth. And that, that thing that they're doing is, is bad, but the truth is a separate issue. Yeah. And there's a nice summation of the footage we have here. Just some guy making a, a meme here about a land down under, and he's uh, collected it to the music, of course. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, copyright, copyright. <laughs> anyway, but it's a compilation here just because I don't want to sit here and show 10 clips, but you can see the various clips of what happened, which is, um, well, turns out there's a bunch of tunnels underneath this uh, synagogue in Brooklyn, which, yes, <laughs> they couldn't discover them. It's it's pretty weird, as, as you might expect people to respond to that with that question. Hi folks, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to announce that we have a new line of merch in our merch store. The merch store was kind of empty for a while, and so I thought, right, okay, what do I actually want on shirts? And so I just went through some of the most epic and true things that I think that historical people have said, and John managed to make an amazing set of merch out of it. And we will have extra things coming in the store, such as posters for these to go on. Uh, Thanks for everything, folks. Now back to the video. Now, <laughs> I don't know what else to say because I mean, look at it. <laughs> I, I find these sort of insular religious communities to be very, very peculiar anyway. Like, yes. And, and all of them. There's, I'm not the making, Amish. Yeah, a, any of them. They're, they're all the really, Westboro really, Baptist Church. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, they're all kind of weird, right? I, I think the Westboro Baptist Church are a bit of a unique case. Sure, but I but, mean, like, there's unique, weird religious stuff. But then when they've got infrastructure. Yeah. Well, yeah, but they do. And, and like, and so they've got, like, they're going to come out. I don't know anything about this, right? But I know what the, is going to be underpinning this is going to be some really obscure interpretation of like a seventh century text that has caused a massive schism. Well, if you read it upside down, then last, then... <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, no, no, it would be like literally, you know, Moses went to the toilet on this date and not that date. <laughs> and anyone who disagrees is a, is a heretic. And this has been the schism. I mean, this, this is literally what like the Sunni and Shia schism is. Yeah. Who should have inherited from Muhammad? And it's like that happened a thousand four hundred years ago. Who cares? And, and isn't there a sect of Jews who I don't know if it's the Hasidic Jews or the the ones who wear the you know the sort yeah, of yeah, yeah. the, the thing. Sephardic and, and yeah yeah and like apparently uh, it's just what it's not even it doesn't even date back that far. It's like one hundred twenty years ago they got off of the boat and that's yeah. what the guy was wearing. So now they all wear it. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's, like more, it's like Mormonism compared to yeah. Christianity. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Weird to, like because yeah. I, I saw that stuff and I thought, man, that's got to be that's yeah. got to go back thousands of years. And no, it doesn't. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, in this particular case, possibly not. I don't know, like I said, but I know, there's going to be a really small, pathetic doctrinal, not even doctrinal, probably point. And then they become these weird, like, communities that, I mean... Are digging tunnels in the walls. They, yeah, they just... But they all dress weirdly and they act weirdly and, like, I don't... Like, Isn't this just an atheist view on all religion? No, 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 no. Like, because, like, with, like, Christianity or Islam or, like, you know, 
orthodox sort of mainstream Judaism. Like they're not they're not like sorry. <laughs> you just said Islam weekly. Oh, right. <laughs> it's just funny. They're not they're not like <laughs> bizarre like these things are. Because I guess because they've got the self confidence of millions of believers, right? Yeah. So they're not like kind of bizarre about this sort of stuff. They're just kind of open and this is what we do and it's you know, it's but you, fairly normal. But you meet a small sect. Yeah, but when you've got a small sect that like is separating yourself off from the rest of the world, they become really weird and like internal. Well, we'll have a look, shall we? Because um, I don't think there's actually been a, a my argument in this. I'm gonna you're gonna see is that I don't really know what the solution is or the source because no one knows. <laughs> solution but, to what? I don't know what's going on. Well, why did this happen? Oh, so yeah. this is the main footage people focused on, which is because it's really funny. Which is <laughs> <laughs> which is this Jewish guy. He runs away at the yeah. end. <laughs> yeah, I mean the filming is in silence. Yeah, Just this guy yeah. be like, "What's going on?" And there's this Jewish guy popping out of the sewer that he's cut a hole through, and then runs off like he's being caught by the police. Which <laughs> it turns out he was. <laughs> which <laughs> it's just pretty funny. Yeah. So and then what happened is um, the city has sealed up the uh, sewer grate. Good idea. Yeah. And this was the next big that went, that went viral. It was like no more sewer juice for us. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say, Lira? Sorry. Did they check it's empty first? I don't think they um they're, they're going to let anyone drown in there. I right. think they're, they're, they sent all of the police officers in there, and they've they've discovered it as we see. But you can find this location in case you're wondering. So this is the the uh, I'm going to get this wrong, aren't I? But this is like the the main residence here, and then this is the media center for this organization. I think the temple's in there as well. Right. You may recognize this entrance from some of the footage where the guys are being brought out in right. handcuffs. So you can tell there's definitely some kind of basement or something down there, right? Yeah. And then next to it. You've got the um, Children's Museum. It's a Jewish children's museum. Right. And then if you go over here, past these police trucks, and then this uh, weird van, which, okay, whatever, you can see the sewer grate right there. Oh, yeah. So it's on Google Maps. You can see it seemingly goes under that house, through the media center, and then there's a hole there where you can pop up. And then there's uh, accusations that one of the tunnels goes underneath to the Jewish children's museum. Now, one of the complications with this is that there's no footage or layout of the tunnels that's been publicly released. Because what happened is that the police were called to settle some dispute, found a bunch of guys hiding in the tunnels, and then were told about the tunnels, arrested everyone, because they were like, what the hell are you doing? And now the state is currently investigating what is the case. Yeah. And they haven't told us, so we don't know. And that's, that's it. Really. Yeah. So that's the location. Um, what is funny is someone did go down there and film what's below. So this is a guy with his phone, drops it through the sewer grate, and uh, as you can see, there's just like piles of wood, some baskets, whatever yeah. else. And it's just like, okay. So it's like a proper room down there. Right. But yeah. And it looks like that would be stuff used in the construction of, you know, uh, stanchions or, or whatever tunnels else. or whatever. I'm not a mole. I don't know how to tunnel. <laughs> so there we are. But we'll go forwards because you can see here, this one was really funny. This guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like to tweet one day, I swear I am hearing Yiddish under the floor in my New York apartment. I live at ground level. We don't have a basement. And um, obviously people were just like, well, you're obviously schizo. <laughs> they responded, some of you owe me an apology. I'm not crazy, damn it. <laughs> so it's just like, huh. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> people, people called him schizophrenic and anti-Semitic. <laughs> yeah. It turns out. Because it turns out, well, if someone came to you a week ago and said that. The floors are speaking Yiddish. What? <laughs> <laughs> but, then, but then this comes out. You're just like, oh, well, I mean, maybe. Because um, it turns out the way this was found is that the people who own the temple, there's a schism between two groups, the guys who build the tunnels and the guys who don't want the tunnels built. Yeah. And uh, the way they found out is that the people living in the building were hearing noises and literally hearing people talk, which would have been Yiddish. So maybe him, in fact, reported it. And then they discovered the tunnels. Mm. So yeah, bro was right. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Um, one of the funnier things people focused on was, well, not funnier actually, quickly. This is a uh, footage of the tunnels. So this is presumably the basement of that building, which yeah. looks normal. Looks like it's probably built and then they're not really using it. Yeah. Some steps down. I mean, seems like part of a basement to me. Yeah. Some utility crap in there. <coughs> I, mean, I think there's some bathrooms, some showers around here as well. And then there's piles of dirt, right. as we can witness yeah. here, which are obviously been excavated. Yeah. And then this person goes on through here. It's a baby stroller, yeah. yeah. There is indeed. We'll come back to that. And then this is the only footage we've got, by the way, in which the guy keeps exploring. And as you can see at the back there, if he turns back around, there is something that is actually a tunnel where you've yeah. broken down the yeah. brick wall. And then he goes in and he shows you it's, it's long. So there we are. That's It just looks like so Whoa. much work. Yeah. But that's the only one that we have footage of. The only evidence. Crazy. So I don't know if there's more. We don't, I mean, the police haven't told us. 
We don't know how long it is or where it goes. Please yeah. don't hold us. And um, so there we are. That's that's the footage. So that's the most interesting part. Um, the police who were up there were mostly just confused <laughs> as to their job. And as you can see, they're pulling the guys out who have been digging the tunnels behind them or hiding in the walls there. And then the uh, other faction of this community uh, are talking to the police. One of the police officers says, we don't do that in America. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which, yeah. Clearly has no <laughs> idea what these religious nut jobs are doing. Yeah. Well, he might actually, because he oh, is wow. quite famous for policing this area. Right. In fact, there's an article naming him the rabbi. That's his nickname in the oh, police department. Oh, he, he deals with this community quite a lot. So that's probably why he's smiling. He's just like, oh, God, come on. Because um, these people are unique. Um, the New York Post went with this as a headline. Subvey. Yep. Ah, mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the, the media were doing the media thing. <laughs> why not? Have a pun. But here's the, here's the deets. So this is a Jewish outlet which wrote about the whole thing. And their details in here, they don't lay it out very well. So we'll use this for a second. They argue in here, um, arrests at Chadbad iconic headquarters after students thought attempt to fill in the secret tunnel. So apparently the tunnel took months, perhaps even years for a small crew of the, the students here to build. And they built it in secret. So they wanted to keep the, the rest of the community in dark about that. And their reasons for doing it are a bit confusing. So um, they say a New York Police Department spokesman said the police arrested 12 people and that there were no injuries. Charges include criminal mischief, reckless endangerment, disorderly conduct, and attempted hate crimes. They don't tell us what hate crimes yeah. that the Jews were committing against other Jews. In tunnels. <laughs> they, just, they just list that. Hmm. Um, I don't know what, I just find that weird. Don't know what to do with that. Uh, they said the tunnel was discovered in early December. Now, the narrative listed here and the explanation given by the students who allegedly did it is that they wanted to expand the center and they were tunneling into the building, which... Yeah, that's, what they, that's exactly what it looked like. Yeah. A, a, a two-foot-by-two-foot two foot tunnel looks like a real expansion to the center. This is what we were saying just before we started. How is that expansion? Yeah. I mean, if I want a conservatory, that's an expansion. Yeah. If I want an extension on my house, that's... <laughs> if I want a secret tunnel under the floor... <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So I don't know what to do with that. But that's, that's the official word being given by those who are arrested. But the reason that probably doesn't make any sense will be revealed because the Daily Mail, I think, did a, a better write-up, weirdly enough. And they write in here, the followers of the late Rabbi Menesh Mendel Sneshushan, I, I, <laughs> okay, yeah. I tried, seen as the Messiah by many in the group, told the Daily Mail. See, I told you. Yeah, that they believe redemption will come to them when they fulfill his command of expanding their holiest site, his former home on 77 East Parkway. Redemption comes when we build this tiny tunnel, okay? Yes. It, not really sure, but then again, we are dealing with really weird religious folk. Yeah. Frustrated by what they saw as the synagogue's leadership's unwillingness to work to fulfill his command, some young Chabad members independently started tearing down walls to connect the synagogue, which sits in a basement that already covers the two buildings, into a third building next door. The Chabad leaders are in litigation over control over the third building, which is currently vacant but being used as a bathhouse for the last 30 years. Hmm. So that's the... Like being used as a bathhouse? Yeah, I mean, it just gets weirder. What do they mean a brothel? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. What does bathhouse mean? It's I don't house, know A house where you go and have a bath. Well, it's not like a bathroom, but a whole I, house. I, I <laughs> every room in the house is a bathroom. I think it might be slightly you more metaphorical than that, actually. You bath at home <laughs> instead of in someone else's house? Yeah. What are you, weird? Well, so you I mean, get naked with lots of like weird <laughs> Jewish old guys? Oh, so it's like an old Roman bath. So we talking? I, I mean, what the hell is that? I presume so. But the, I mean, it's just the facts that get listed from the people involved it seem to conflict and just make the situation more strange. Uh, the unapproved project was discovered in December after neighbors reportedly complained and the synagogue's leaders found themselves... Uh, with a situation of whether or not to shut it down. That's the Daily Mail's words. When workers showed up <laughs> to, to fill the space, young Hasidic men refused to let them in, with some seen on video breaking through the sanctuary walls with hammers. So that's them ripping down the, right. the woods and then hiding in the walls so that the concrete trucks couldn't fill in the, the uh, tunnel with concrete. Because the, uh, apparently the tunnel is also causing structural problems. No and that's the concern for the city. Well, yeah, because uh, I was going to say, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, 
if they're structural engineers, any of these people have been digging <laughs> these tunnels. But if you dig around the foundations of a big stone building, yeah. that can that can cause problems. I know that from growing up in a sort of mining community where you know houses would sometimes topple into into mines. Your know, ground would subside. So I mean, you got to get good miners if you're going to build a proper mine. Uh, yeah, some kids. Although I've, I've heard, yeah, they do have some. Um, they might have had some miners down there. Ah, uh, we'll get to it. Well, actually, you bring us on perfectly. <laughs> so two two people noticed something strange, which is um, they started pulling things out of the tunnel. For some reason, I don't really know why you wouldn't leave your trash in the tunnel to be filled with concrete. Because who cares? Yeah. And one of them was this mattress that has a big stain in the middle of it, which. Um, I don't really know if I want the answers to this. And then the next thing is that people noticed was the baby chair. And the big suspicion from a lot of people is that this is really weird because there's some kind of sex crimes going on in the community. Yeah. And, um, well, this is what people are latching on to to be like, maybe this is evidence of it. I don't know. But well, there, ha- there, have, weird. there has been a lot of evidence of um, child sexual exploitation in the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community because it's such an insular, closed community where you know the men have so much power and there's you know code of silence and all the rest of it um i guess it's a bit like you know the catholic, like the catholic church. church yeah yeah it, it definitely seems to be that way so that's the story as it stands that's what everyone or at least the, the mainstream conversation has been is there's some weird stuff there the tunnels are themselves are weird what's this weird sect arguing about why are they building tunnels none of their explanations make any sense and that's really all the information there is on the on the mainstream story there now, I have expanded this a little bit to find out more, which is... Um... I went to Fortune. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to them at the end. <laughs> so I, I checked out what everyone else was talking about. Some people were speculating that they were secret tunnels like this one in Moscow, which were built during the pogroms, which right. is a way to escape in case um, people turned up to try and kill you. I mean, that makes sense. Why you'd build a tunnel? But that'd be the first excuse I'd go to. Yeah. You know, if people turned <laughs> yeah. up like, what are these tunnels for? I'd be like, it's in case people try and kill us. Yeah. Like, that'd be... You it's know... an election year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you not noticed what woke people have turned into? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that would make sense. And that would be a normal defense, right? You'd be like, yeah. well, you know, we're Jews, uh, kind of scared of yeah. being killed. So we built these tunnels. But instead, they went with some weird nonsense about expanding the place. And it's just like, okay. Yeah. But that's that's one thought that, that got noticed about all this. Um, there was a narrative poking around that they built it during COVID to pray. This seems to have come from nowhere and is entirely fake news. Right. So, yeah, that's just people making stuff up. Right, okay. Um, this is some other people trying to claim that there's even more of this. So Casey Neistat um, did a vlog a while back yeah. where here he's showing that there's a crack in the pavement in this area of New York City. Oh, yeah. And he's like, oh, I'll stick my phone down there. And he's like, ugh. Oh, that's... Like a whole Jewish st- man. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but this YouTuber found the exact same place. Yeah. Uh, the city had concreted exactly where Casey was. Yeah. And then he goes on to show you that he found an entrance uh, from an anonymous tip off an old synagogue right. nearby. Was, oh, God, it had to be. Yeah, it did. And um, then there are tunnels in here. He finds a cat. Oh. And there's, uh, you know, an extensive network of just nothing and trash, which. Uh, has fueled further speculation about whether it's a bigger thing or is this just an occasional thing or what? Yeah. But there's no evidence. It's just some people latched onto. Again, yeah. who knows? But what is uh, concrete is this particular community is pretty messed up, I'll be honest. And this is the evidence. So this is a news report about one of the religious leaders who went on trial for sexually abusing a young girl. And um, he denied it. The entire community rallied around him and rallied against the abuse victim. And was she from that community as well? Yes. Right. And what was even worse is nine men were arrested for offering $500,000 to that girl's mother to shut her mouth. Jeez. And, well, she rejected it and was like, no. Yeah. Rape my kid. Yeah, yeah. And this went to trial. Um, and we'll get to that in a minute. What's very interesting, though, and it will come back to haunt us, is uh, 3 minutes 31 on here, if I get to it. So that's... Uh, uh, one of the other people involved in this, where she used to be in the community and now describes right. it as a cult that she escaped. Well, it looks like the dogs. That's the thing that was turned into a Netflix show. And it was, it was good. So, this uh, chap here at 3 minutes 31, his name comes on screen. Uh, so, Rabbi Rosenberg over here. Uh, his response is that the community needs to step up and deal with its problem. And this is seems reasonable, yeah. His comment at the time. And um, well, in 2012, the New York Times wrote about this, talking about the author Orthodox shunning their own. For reporting child sexual abuse. Again, I mean, not a far right outlet, so we can yeah. bet any of that nonsense. And which we then go on in 2013, the guy's convicted. Uh, he's given 103 years what? in prison. Rosenberg is convicted. 
not Rosenberg, the guy accused. Rosenberg was <clears> saying, <throat> we need to deal with this problem. Yeah. It's bigger than people admit. He'll be out in 98. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit lenient for my taste, but yeah. I mean, I suppose. Yeah, so he uh, sexually abused a young girl when she was 12. And uh, in addition to convicting Mr. Webman, his office was also charged uh, seven Hasidic men with bribery and intimidation of the victim. And then they say the prosecutors know more victims who were too afraid to testify. So it is a wide, wider problem, yeah. for sure. The state knows that, in fact. And in 2013, I mean, this Jesus up. Vice? Yeah, this guy, Rosenberg. Again, another far-right outlet. <laughs> this Rosenberg guy um, did this article for Vice. As you can see, the child rape assembly line. I was like, oh, good God. <laughs> that's, that's a headline. Oh, yeah. And this is a, a weird one. Uh, he goes on to describe how when he was in Israel, he walked in on, according to him, some rabbis raping young boys. Mm. Jesus. And when he was like, what the hell is wrong with you? This is unethical. They were like, shut it. What are you doing? Um, it, it gets really gross, to be honest. Well, it sounds really gross. Well, he gets, um, he turns out that the guy he found raping the child, according to him, was a member of the morality police. And then the morality police deemed him to be unethical for reporting it. Oh, God, this is messed up. Mm. Uh, he says in here that, back to Brooklyn, seven years ago, Mr. Rosenberg started blogging about sex abuse in his particular community and opened a New York City hotline to, fi filed, uh, to file sexual abuse claims. He also posted appeals on YouTube, appeared on CNN, and has given speeches across the United States, Canada, Israel, and Australia. Today, he is a lone whistleblower among the Sutma. And for this, he is reviled, slandered, hated, feared. He even receives death threats on a regular basis in Yiddish and Hebrew newspapers. Advertisements are taken out to describe him uh, so, so. As, a, as a stumbling block for the House of Israel. There are leaflets up <laughs> in that local community calling him a corrupt informer, saying that he should rot in hell forever and they should cut him off from all four corners of the earth. Can we get the opinion of the people who aren't pedos, though? Well, this and is, the pedos are like, well, we hate you. Is that okay? So this is the, the weirdness, because this particular sect in this particular area of Brooklyn are bloody mental by the looks of it. So this is the sexual uh, cases in, against this particular community. And you scroll down, there's just the, the case listed. And it, yeah, okay, there's quite a few. Yeah, it, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not strange to see them. So it does definitely seem to be that there's a, like any situation like this, insular community, doesn't work with the police, a bunch of weird men at the top of your hierarchy, which attracts pedophiles, yeah. engaging pedophilia. I mean, just well, we have one that's convicted, mm. so we can say that. Yeah. So this got conflated with the tunnels, and now a lot of people are obviously doing, well, old schizo posting yeah. about Jews, of course. You can see why this came about. It wasn't just because people hate Jews. It's like, well, there's, there's a lot of things that make people mix the rumors with something that's happened here. Yeah, so but, there the, but there's no evidence that that's what the tunnels are for or anything like that. Not in the slightest. There isn't anything. Because there's a say, baby chair. There is a baby chair and a mattress. Yeah. But there's no details. Yeah. So I, I can't say anything. It's just that, that that's the story. That's the extended part. There was something that really funny happened. Well, not funny. It was weird. Uh, the New York Police Department deleted this tweet in which they, at the same time the tunnel thing blew up, they tweeted out that this guy was arrested for, or is wanted for public lewdness in Brooklyn. So presumably part of that community as well. It's just like, oh God, I, I don't know. But the New York Police Department deleted that. But anyway, what did we learn? Well, not much. <laughs> <laughs> not really much at all. Well, I feel like I learned a fair amount about this particular community. But the thing is, that's already publicly known. The police yeah. even know that. The prosecutors know it. Mm. Um, there's local campaigns complaining about their lack of uh, force to try and stop that problem. And their complaint in response is, well, they won't work with us. Yeah. The community won't work with us. We can't solve it. I feel like there's vindication, though, for that guy who heard Jews under his floor. Yeah, take uh, it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and everybody said he was schizophrenic and anti-Semitic. And I think, you know, maybe people should be a bit more careful before throwing around accusations yeah. of uh, anti-Semitism or whatever ism or phobia it is, because maybe there are yeah. people in the walls. <laughs> it turns out that, that it's not a zero percent chance. Yeah. So there we are. Um, I'll end this off, though, with um, I think the people who got the most out of this were <laughs> schizo anons. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I mean, 4chan, for example, was just like, oh my God, it's Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> it's all come true. Hanukkah came early for them. <laughs> 
which um, really is, I think, the big story for the vast majority of us, because none of us, you know, very few of us live in Brooklyn, very few of us have any connection to any of this. Mm. But my God, have we enjoyed some good memes. So I thought we'd, <laughs> we'd end that off with this, which is, I'll just go through, through which is, as you can see here, uh, the New York City mayor has ordered every cop in the city to find the tunnel source. So <laughs> turns out that wasn't a plot hole. That was probably true. So there's the ADL. They've uh, now listed a few more things on their, their hate symbol list. So just clean mattresses and cement trucks. So there we are. There's that. <laughs> Which blew up. Um, people started making Ben Shapiro memes because, of course, you know, the, the probably most famous, I think, Jewish conservative. Oh, ah, well, these Judeo Christian tunnels, are they? Yes. Yes, they <laughs> are. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> but you know, I, I love you, Ben. But that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah, I like things. Ben too. But... <laughs> There's also the claims that New York Jews will rise again. So <laughs> <laughs> this, this was enjoyable. <laughs> there is also some new Minecraft skins available if, you, if, if you'd like some. Which, to be honest, if I was Jewish, that would be really funny. <laughs> I'd totally download that yeah. for sure. Um, there's also some other people making jokes now whenever someone finds something weird in their house. So this guy found um, a big hole in his floor. <laughs> the sewer? And people's response is, man, the Jews are going to come through your floor. <laughs> so this meme isn't going to go away. <laughs> no. <laughs> Eight million views on that one. This is going to become a new running joke, I believe. Um, there's other people talking about the fact, you know, you're hiding <sighs> tunnels across New York City. Yeah. And then the last one I'll end it off with was, is, uh, of course, a nice Harry Potter reference. Course. Because as we know, Harry Potter's joined the far right now. So yes. there we are. <laughs> but that's it. That's really the story. There's there's not much to know for sure. Mm. Um, we don't even know how many tunnels there are, how big they were, what their purpose was. None of it makes much sense whatsoever. Mm. Um, but it certainly is the case that people are conflating stuff and not unreasonably. Because yeah. I mean, very weird community, very secretive is going to cause a lot of rumors. Yeah. Like Freemasonry or something like that. Yeah. And it's also just a crazy thing to have happened. I feel like uh, the news is getting weirder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean, like 2024, yeah. we've already had like ultra Orthodox Jews in tunnels. <laughs> yeah. Literally crawling <laughs> out of the yeah, tunnels. Yeah, like, what yeah, am I yeah. looking at? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is why I'm not making any predictions. Though. Like, yeah. people are like, what do you think will happen? <laughs> Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, like, I just, just, <laughs> that, that's why nobody cares when, like, you know, the government announces, oh, we're having this, uh, we've got evidence of aliens, yeah. and we're going to present yeah, 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 the yeah, evidence yeah. in court, yeah. and everybody's like, yeah, whatever. We've got Jews in tunnels. What, what about the anymore? tunnels? <laughs> yeah. Did you see the one today? The government is going to mandate toothbrushing for three-year-olds. Oh, it's man. like, what are you doing? <laughs> they're they're going to have supervised. Keir Starmer has uh, yeah. suggested supervised toothbrushing in yeah. schools for for children, and it's like, man, this is just the encroachment of government into our into our personal space. But it's, it's, it's like, like the even... next thing after toothbrushing your teeth is going to be wiping your arse. Yeah, and then like you know, because no <laughs> government program has ever rolled back. And if they ever did, <laughs> if we ever got a government that was going to, you know, a supposedly far right government that was going <laughs> to introduce austerity, they'd be like, we're going to cut the bum wiping program. And then everybody's going to be like, oh no, this is terrible. Like, you know, my bum smells now. And it's, all, it's all crunchy. Oh, this is the government's fault. It's like, man, we can't. As soon as, you, as, soon as the government fills a gap, like it, people yeah. become completely dependent on the government, I know. Or whatever that but, is. But the point is, is, like, look how far we've gone. It's just like, okay, so now we're going to have like mandatory tooth brushing. There's going to be a minister for brushing kids' teeth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, there's going to be an infrastructure around yeah, this. There's going to be a yeah. budget for this. Oh, God. You know, it's just like, God, how pathetic is this? Anyway, so, sorry. yeah. I mean, maybe these guys are right. Maybe we all need some tunnels to try and escape. Yeah. Or cavities. That's, that's from the that. Toothbrushing. If you appreciated that episode from a podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium contents on the site such as the Brokenomics series, this episode on the economy of Rome. If you'd like to find out what else is being put out, you can follow on Twitter at lotuseaters underscore com on Twitter. Thank you and goodbye.